steel, a material that is vital in everything we do, every day of our lives. Steel, a material so versatile that its uses are countless. Steel, a material which so many of us just take for granted. Steel is all around us. Stop and consider that just about everything you see and use is either made from steel or was made using steel products in some way. In fact, it's perfectly fair to say that nothing in this world can be made, moved or manufactured without steel. The versatile nature of steel is achieved thanks to an ability to meet hundreds of different specifications. There's steel which has strength, steel which is springy, steel that can be pressed and shaped, steel that is hard and steel that is soft. There's a type of steel suitable for just about every task you can think of applying it to. So, if steel is the product that helps make everything else, how is steel itself actually made? Well, the quick answer is, you take iron ore, coke and limestone, put it into the top of a blast furnace, blast air at it until it's very hot, white hot in fact, and out of the bottom you get molten iron, the base material from which steel is made. Making molten iron into steel involves removing some impurities, such as carbon and silicon. In other words, it has to be refined. This is achieved by blowing oxygen onto it. Other elements are then added to adjust the steel's composition and make it suitable for any one of the thousands of purposes for which it could be used. The molten steel is then solidified before being formed into a suitable, usable shape? Well, that's the quick answer. But to give you more detail of how steel is produced, we're going to take a closer look at each process.